Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Mercedes-Benz Burlington. I'm here with another special entry to our lineup. This is the EQE AMG SUV. I know what you're thinking. Most people are asking, what's the difference? It's an AMG model, but it's electric. The main difference and the takeaway from this drive, which you're gonna see later on in this video, is the power. The regular EQE SUV starts at around 288 horsepower or so. This is coming in at over double well over double at 617 horsepower combined. That's with an electric AMG specific motor that aids the battery in a different sense. So we're gonna take this for a drive, but let's highlight some of the exterior features that make this an AMG model. So originally on some of the EQE SUVs, you could actually get this whole front fascia just plain black. It was like a piano black finish. Then they upgraded it so you got the star pattern grill, which was a really nice, beautiful grill. And that is still what we offer in 2024 for the EQE 350 and 500. However, when you get to the full AMG model, you get that new AMG grill. So you've got the stamped chrome vertical lines going across here. You still have the prominent star in the center, AMG branding on the front, and you got more of a front aggressive bumper to kind of go in unison with the rest of the AMG lineup. You also have new for 2024 models, the AMG stamp on the front here instead of that star. So you've got the big star here and the stamp on the front here. There's a few other things that are new for the model. This isn't AMG specific, but there's a couple new colors coming. So the twilight blue, I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to see it. I think that's gonna be a take on the soda lake blue. And there's also a velvet brown. So I'm interested why they used velvet as the name. I wanna see how it looks. I'm excited to see that as well. We haven't ordered one coming in. So hopefully we see that velvet brown very soon. Let's show you a few of the other exterior uh, pieces on the back and then let's hop inside. Looking at the side, subtle differences, but you've got the Formatic Plus branding on both sides. That's for the AMG models, because you do have the AMG drive unit. So it's a more aggressive drive with the all wheel drive system, which you'll experience shortly. And you've got the new wheels. So this is gonna be one of my favorite wheels for 2024. You're gonna see it on a lot of the 2024 AMG product. This is a 21. There's two or three other 20, uh, 21 wheel options. And there's also a 22 inch rim. You've seen that on our uh, EQS AMG car so the sedan model but that's also available on this so that looks really aggressive as well gives you a little bit more of a, a like windmill look and it's a really multi-tiered wheel so that's my favorite wheel this is kind of my second favorite but i like that they have the matte black insert as well it keeps the brake dust from coming out so for me even though you know you can you can drive and you can brake with the recuperation you still get some brake dust so i like having a little bit more of a busy wheel versus just the five spoke that we had in the past for 24 we also have our automatic uh charge port door so fully automatic opening and you just give it a little bit of touch fully automatic close as well which is cool on the back of the vehicle very similar to the regular eqe suv you've got the same tail light you do have the amg branding but you do have an amg specific black chrome splitter on the bottom here. So when you get the night package and night package plus, you actually have that in like a dark chrome, but that comes in a lighter regular chrome color as well, which is specific to the AMG. All right, now the moment everyone's been waiting for is the drive. Similar feel to the regular EQE SUV, but I mean, I think you gotta put your foot down in this. Let's see if this has some power. Oh! <laughs> Wow, with this new design AMG uh, cluster, it's a super sport display that I'm in now. It actually shows the horsepower pull. So on that horsepower pull, I did about 488 horsepower. My foot wasn't even all the way down to the floor. This has some power, I will admit. It shows your, um, your uh, torque on one side and it shows your horsepower on the other side. Really like that display screen. It feels really, really solid. The inside has some notes too for the EQE AMG. You've got this um, leather Dynamica upgrade. So you get the AMG design seats. This one has the two-tone with the micro cut with the red stitching. You also actually get the micro cut throughout the doors, which isn't on the regular SUVs. So you get micro cut on the doors and with the seats as well. You've got the upgraded AMG steering wheel as well in Napa leather. So we have that in this vehicle as well. And then a lot of the other appointments are just on the uh, technology. So like I said, um, outside of the vehicle, you have um, a different 
set up for your drive dynamics. So you've got the Formatic Plus system with the AMG um, drive dynamic systems as well. So when you're in the drive dynamics, you can push through here. There's actually an AMG button and that will bring up your dynamic select. Right now I'm in comfort. There's um, like a slippery and snow. There's Sport Plus, which I'm gonna change into now. And that gives you a more powerful increase. You also have the AMG uh, sound experience in this. So you can actually select sound on here and it'll actually change the vibe of the sound on the inside and when you lock and unlock the vehicle. So that's new as well. It just feels good. It feels like a solid vehicle. It's a beautiful sunny day today. I don't know if you can hear that. Woo! <laughs> this car's making me sweat, I'm telling you. Oh, it feels really cool. I think that the difference between the regular AMG and the um, EQE 350 and 500 is definitely that they want you to feel more of that iRobot electric power car. So yes, it's still electric, but you do have that sound in the back. You can feel like more of an engine noise, but it feels more of like a supersonic boom noise. So I actually feel more like it's like a like an aircraft or like a hovercraft that I'm driving in here. I like the new dynamics that they have on here. The AMG screen is really cool on here as well. So you can actually, there's a port, uh, performance in the menu and you can see everything from your vehicle, your suspension level, your energy flow, like in the regular electric vehicles as well. But you've also got this fancy IWC AMG watch. <laughs> and I love it. It's just little things on these cars. In the AMG, obviously you get the hyper screen as well. So that's an option for the 350 but in the uh, regular one, you get the uh, hyper screen as well. When you're driving this car in Sport Plus, it also changes um, the handling of the vehicle. So I have a little bit more of a rigid steering pattern, um, or not pattern rather, but steering like vibe in the steering wheel. So it feels a little bit tighter. You can adjust that in the uh, drive performance menu as well in the dynamic system. So I'm in Sport Plus, but you can actually see the suspension is also in Sport Plus. If you wanted to, um, especially on an electric car, you could leave you know, the sound in powerful, you could leave the drive in like a sport, but you, would change, you can change the suspension to comfort and that'll kind of loosen up the suspension a little bit. If I now go back into the regular menu, I'm wondering what it will show me here in the performance menu. So in the vehicle, now you can see the suspension. I'm at the lowest setting for the suspension as well. You can really hear that. Let's see if I get quiet, you can hear that performance. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Uh, other things to note on the um, EQE is essentially because of the battery being a similar size, you do get uh, a similar range on the vehicle. However, mind how you drive it, right? With the ability to drive this aggressively faster than the regular EQE SUVs, you can go through that battery a little bit faster. Right now I'm sitting at 28% and um, I have about 101 kilometers it's showing me available to me. Now that is based on me being in a sport dynamic. What's nice about this car as well is as you adjust things, it'll actively adjust. It's a live adjustment. So it's not like um, some of the older cars where, you know, it might change your range if you fly it, it might change your gas range down. It might not creep back up on some of the smarter cars. It does do that as well. Um, but if I was to now go into the dynamic system here and go back into a comfort, it will actually adjust my, per my performance in terms of what I'm going to have on the battery. So still 28% on the battery, that doesn't change, but you might get, you know, 130 instead of 101. This is a car that really can do it all because now I'm in comfort. My window's open, but if I close my window, Listen to how quiet it can get in here. Beautiful, I actually just heard a bird chirp. That was not a paid actor. <laughs> but if I go into now sport, you feel that. And if I go into powerful, <laughs> that's how you really get all the way up. Wow, it's funny because when we heard that there was gonna be a sound um, experience, people right away say, oh, sound? Like, what is that fake engine noise? What is that made to sound like a V8, but it's not? But you know what's funny is when you put your foot down, it actually does increase your experience because it's a feeling, right? So you're used to hearing something. If I was to put my foot down on a fully electric car without the power, 
you know, it could shock some of your passengers, but on this, you actually feel like there's a performance aspect to it. And you still got the regen braking as well. Wow, this is a fantastic car. Okay, so I'm gonna drive this around for a little bit longer because I'm really enjoying my experience in here. I, I, I hate to admit it, but I, you know, with some of these electric cars being part of the future, it's a language we're gonna have to get used to. And if I'm going electric, I'm still going AMG all day. I will take the sound profiles, I will take the cool dynamics, the super sport screens, the nicer rims, the nicer designs all day, even at a, a cost rather. Um, I'm gonna drive around a little bit more, but the great news is get in touch with us because these cars are available. This is the very first First EQE AMG SUV and it is available. This was spec'd by us um, for just a factory release unit. We are doing test drives on it as I'm doing right now. Get in touch with us. It's Patrick at Mercedes-Benz Burlington and come in and see us at Mercedes-Benz Burlington. Book your test drive ahead of time. We'll pull this one out because we are going to have it in the showroom. If you just want to come in and have the experience I'm having right now by sitting in the car and having us walk you through the screens, that's available as well. Stay in touch with us on YouTube. Thank you. Like, subscribe and keep following along because we've got more 2020 24 models. We're just halfway through the year. We're still going. We got more for you coming soon. Next time you see this beautiful wheel, it's probably going to be on the CLE 53. So let's stay tuned for that as well. And we'll see you guys next time.